Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. Um, I get calls on in the garage. How do I make things a little bit more code and secure? This garage had two extension cords running across the ceiling with all these nails hitting both garage doors. Um, we came in and simply just put a outlet up high surface mount because they didn't want all the drywall cut. And we ran an armored cable, MC cable, all the way down and around. Um, the code does state now that all outlets outside have to be GFCI'd, so the garage doors do have to be GFCI'd, but they have to be in an accessible location that someone doesn't have to reach or get on the ladder to reset it. So we ran the MC cable this way, um, and basically you are not supposed to run Romex typically on top of the drywall, anything less than 8 foot, uh, Article 100 and 110 talk about that you're not supposed to have um, exposed to physical damage as well as Article 334 for Romex. Um, if you have studs open, it's okay typically to run it par or per parallel to the stud, but not perpendicular across if it's low, because they don't want you to hang up rakes and things to hit that wire and, and damage it. Well, I still treat MC cable that way because um, the code talks about that as well, that it should not be exposed to physical damage. It could be damaged, but it would take a lot more for this to get damaged than Romex. But we just sleeved it here with a nipple and came down to the box here um, with the conduit. And we came in uh, from the outside here and ran it through and over. And he asked us to bring two circuits. So we just divided that up We made sure that we had our GFCI protection here for this circuit. That'll reset circuit 15B. And we labeled our plate, the, the, uh, the circuit number as well as the GFCI protection. And the other circuit comes this way. It just hits a fourplex outlet here. And then we have a GFCI um, on the other side. And basically if that one trips, it'll trip in here. And I'll show you that real quick. We made sure that we bonded this all the way through and um, basically used our co conduit as a ground. And it says that in Article 250 that you can do that. But we also wanted to make sure that our continuity was correct. So when we did that, we can just simply do a continuity test. As you can see, all of our raceways are bonded together. And then we can also just check our voltage to ground to make sure that when we're checking it, we are getting 123 volts and it's strong because that's kind of where it was at the panel. There shouldn't be much voltage drop. So we can use our conduit as a ground because I did pull in for uh, two, two hots and two neutrals. The reason why I pulled in the two neutrals, I can show you that outside at the panel if you follow me real quick. And then real quick before I do that, um, we did put our WR receptacle in here with our TR rating. Uh, we put a 20 amp on this circuit because it's a 20 amp circuit rated. And, um, you know, just our weatherproof cover. As far as over here, in the panel, we were not able to achieve doing two bus bars next to each other. So this is all the same bus bar, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. So B is where we landed. So you cannot just run two hots off of B and share that neutral. So we ran two neutrals next to each other right here. Um, and then basically in order to identify which neutral is which, you could tape it or number it, but we just simply pulled a number 14 and a number 12. And then we pulled a number 14 red and a number 12 blue. And we could just see that really easily how we identified. Made sure that all of our fittings outside are gonna be the compression type as well as now the blue or the black collar because that tells the inspector that we have um, the uh, inside compression with the green or the yellow sleeve, um, as well as the fittings over here on the couplings and into the connectors through the box. The box is bell rated for outside as well, the R3 rating, it's called a bell box single gain. You could go with a little bit deeper bell box or a shallow, it's easier to work with the deeper when you have splices. Anyways guys, yeah, um, we do things like this all the time for people's garages just to clean it up. Give us a call, thanks.